Hello loves and welcome to today's video. I am currently preparing for a vacation and the most stressful part of all of the packing is deciding which books are worthy enough to bring on vacation with me when I don't have the option of just grabbing something else if I'm not digging it. I recently watched Books and La La Kayla's video on her TBR scavenger hunt and I thought that would be a fun way to take some of the pressure off of it and add a bit of randomness to it. So I'm going to be following the prompts as they are drawn out of this neon colored hat and figure out where I land in terms of the scavenger hunt and that gets to be the book that comes with me on vacation. Take the best book you read in the previous year, which for me was Mayfly, flip to the acknowledgements and spot a name. Chris. So I am going to try and find a book that has an author with the name Chris on my shelves somewhere. Wish me luck. Aaron, Matt, Lewis, Blake, Christina. We are now over at my TBR corner, which is very difficult to get to because TV and then the couch is here. So it is a very tucked little corner. But I did find a Chris. I had to go deep cuts into my graphic novel collection and the iZombie series is written by Chris Robertson. So let's see where iZombie is going to take us. Find a book you would recommend that is similar. Okay. Since this has to be a book I would recommend, we have to return to the shelves of books that I have actually read and find something similar to iZombie, specifically volume two I grabbed for some reason. The closest thing I could think of from my shelves that I would recommend similar to iZombie is Dead Until Dark by Charlene Harris. Now, I don't really have any other zombie fiction, so that is not in here, but in terms of a similar story with different types of supernatural beings trying to live in amongst humans and keep their identity secret or having their identity be exposed and balancing real life issues with supernatural-ish. I think this is the closest I would have that I would also recommend. So Dead Until Dark is going to be the book that leads us to our next prompt. So we've got our hat here and we will pick this one. Take the most common letter in the title and find an author whose name starts the same. So I believe that the most common letter in this is the D in Dead and Dark. So let's find an author whose names start with a D. Since this prompt does not require me to have read the book, I am going to choose something from my on read shelves. And what do we have? Danya Kukafka. Kukafka. I found this in my used bookstore recently and I've heard really good things about it. So let's see where this book will lead us. Okay. Find a book with a similar cover. So the cover is just simple color with a single item on it and it is a locket. So let's see if I have anything similar. For a similar cover to Notes on an Execution, I'm going to go with Voyager by Diana Gabaldon. It is a single color cover with a piece of jewelry on the front, so let's see what this brings us to, and it is a brick. Pick something on the cover, find a book with that thing in the title. This may have worked against me. Back to the red shelf. I don't have anything with green or brooch in the title, so we'll stretch this a little. 
That brooch certainly is an absolutely remarkable thing. This is about as close as I'm going to get with what I have. I do really enjoy this book. It is a new adult science fiction about some robots that show up and how the world deals with that. So let's see where Hank Green takes us. This has been very challenging. All right. Go to page 50, line five, pick a word from that line and find a title with that word. So page 50, line five. Fifty, line five. People either love that or they love to hate it. And in the attention. Love, hate, people, attention. Let's see what I can find. So I'm going to go with the word people and for that I am going to pick I Want to Be Where the Normal People Are by Rachel Bloom. This is a memoir of the actress Rachel Bloom who wrote and created the show Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, which I was absolutely obsessed with in 2019. So this is what's going to lead us to our next prompt. Find a book with the same number of pages. Okay then. So I have double checked with Goodreads just to make sure that I had the count correct and this has 288 pages according to Goodreads. So that is the number we are going to go with. And also according to Goodreads, The Midnight Library by Matt Haig also has 288 pages. So that is what is going to be our next prompt. Find another title with the same number of letters. 18 letters in this title. Let's see if we can find a book that also has 18 letters. Ended up with a very similar title, The Memory Librarian by Janelle Monet. This is a series of short stories set in an Afro-futuristic world. And let's see where that takes us. We are down to our last three prompts. Find a five star with the same colors on the cover. So since the Memory Librarian is a white cover with gold accents, my five star is going to be Mythos by Stephen Fry. This is a story of the Greek myths. As told by Stephen Fry, I find it to be a really accessible way to read the myths. That is our color scheme matching title. And from Mythos, let's choose the big fat one. Flip to a random page, point at a word, and find that word in a title. I don't want that one because, okay. So, <laughs> um, let's see if I can find a so. <sighs> the only book I have with so in the title, which I'm surprised I even still own, I Am America and So Can You by Stephen Colbert. Because for some reason, I had a Stephen Colbert phase when I was like 12. So I still own this for some reason and it has so in the title. And this is what is going to lead us to our vacation read. <laughs> I might be regretting this a little bit. The final prompt. It just needs a little propeller at this point. Flip open to any page. The first name you see, find a book whose author has that name. Wish me luck. High stakes. Surprise, surprise, Stephen. Stephen Colbert. So, Let's find a read with Steven. So there's nothing on my physical TBR that has Steven as the author, but I do also need to bring some audiobooks with me and what better known Steven is there in the literary world than Stephen King. So I am going to check out 
the Green Mile and read that on my vacation. So to recap the incredibly bizarre adventure that my shells took me on, Mayfly in the acknowledgments gave us the name Chris, which brought us to iZombie Volume 2 and a similar type of book that I would recommend brought us to Charlene Harris's Dead Until Dark. This has the most common letter of D, which brought us to an author whose name starts with D, Danya Kukafka. This, we had to find a similar vibe cover, which brought us to Voyager by Diana Gabaldon. This, we had to find a title that had something from this cover, which tenuously brought us to an absolutely remarkable thing. From that, page 50, line 5, brought us to the word people and I want to be where the normal people are. From there, we had to find a book with the same number of pages, which according to Goodreads, the Midnight Library has. Then we had to find a book with the same number of letters in its title, which brought us to the Memory Librarian. This, we had to find a similar cover, which brought us to Mythos. From Mythos, we got to the word so in I am America and so can you, which gives us the name Stephen. And eventually I will be reading a book by Stephen King on my vacation. So thank you so much for coming on this frankly unhinged adventure of my shelves. If you liked this video, please make sure you watch Kayla's original and leave a like and comment down below what your usual vacation read recommendations are. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day! From Mythos, yikes, 